Libra, what's going on with you? This is your girl, D. I'm here to bring you your um, a reading for this lunar eclipse energy that we're, we're starting to uh, get into. We won't feel it until uh, Scorpio season. It started May, May 4th. That's when the Scorpio full moon lunar eclipse was. And you know what eclipse energies we feel for up to six months. So Scorpio energy is all about letting go, transforming, getting rid of anything that's toxic. Anything that's making you uncomfortable, whether you like it or not, if it's uncomfortable and difficult to deal with, that's your indicator that it's time to change things up. <clears throat> Death, rebirth in all forms. So let's see what you might be letting go of so that new beginnings could begin. Keep in mind, the South Node is going to be moving into your uh, house uh, in July. So, you know, this is um, energy here to help you wrap up the last 18 months of uh Taurus North No Scorpio South No Energies, okay? What's going on with Libra? Where are they at right now? Talk to me with Libra. Yin and Yang came out in reverse. So that talks about balance. But I don't see any balance because it came out in reverse. So something is not balanced. Or maybe you're trying to create balance. You're looking for balance. Could be somebody around you with some unbalanced energy. Tell me what's the challenge here. Okay, we have globe. It came out in reverse. So possibilities. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you're limiting your own possibilities or somebody around you is limiting your possibilities or the lack of balance is causing a limitation in your possibilities. I don't know if it's to travel or it's just to see things from a broader perspective. Look at this card came out in reverse too. Lotus flower. So this is all about enlightenment. Your guides are trying to enlighten you about something and you're not listening. You're not hearing it. There's some imbalanced energy that's not allowing you to see something from a different perspective. I don't know what the imbalance is. We'll get some clarity on that. But tell me where your head is at. Where's Libra's head? I feel like you should go out in nature, Libra. I feel like that would help you to get balanced. Take a, you know, take a walk in the park or go somewhere where there's a wooded area. Where your head is at is Journey Labyrinth. Yeah, so you're definitely on a transformative journey. We all are, whatever area we have, uh, uh, Scorpio. So that's your 12th house. So, you know, you definitely want to pay attention to your dreams. They could be trying to tell you something. You're not hearing it. Yeah, distractions moving forward. So something's distracting you. I don't know if you're in your head because this is cloud energy. So you could be caught up in your own thoughts. For some of you, you may need to travel. Okay, um, to get your head clear, maybe a, a trip would do you good. Yeah, I get um, the escape room. Some of you may want to try an escape room. I feel like there's different ways that you can release, um, you know, to help you, uh, you know, get balanced. But tell me about this imbalance with Libra. What's going on with Libra? I get an energy of closed minded. I don't know if this is somebody around you or if you're blocking your blessings. Tell me what's this yin and yang energy in reverse here. Yeah, we have melancholy. So you could be, I don't know what you're depressed or sad about. Are you depressed about something, Libra? Are you sad about something? Or is it somebody around you who's complaining about their depressed and they're upset? Or somebody around you is upset, but you don't know why. Because melancholy is an energy of somebody being upset and they don't want to tell you why or they don't know why. So if you're upset and you don't know why there's an imbalance, it's because of somebody around you, you know, you could be empathic. And when you're empathic, everything could be going good. Like, I know everything in my life is going good right now. I don't got no, I don't got no dudes causing me no problems. I ain't got no friends causing me no problems. I ain't got no family members causing me no problems. My money is right. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> everything is good. My health is good. I'm good. Right. So I don't have nothing to bitch about. Okay, so when I'm feeling weird, like because I got I go to a work, I go to a job. I know I picked up somebody else's energy because I know ain't nothing wrong with my life. Right. So when I'm feeling the sort of way, I'm like, why am I feeling down or depressed or sad? Ain't shit wrong with my life. You picked up somebody else's energy. So for some of y'all, that could be what you experience it. You could be around somebody who closed minded. You know what I'm saying? And they throwing your energy off. Yeah, despair. So if you're not feeling this way, this could be somebody who's around you who's feeling like this and you're picking up on their energy. 
you, this might be something you need to end or cut off. Well, you definitely need to end it or cut it off, whatever it is, whether it's you feeling this way or somebody else doing, you know, your energy, somebody else's energy you're dealing with. But there's some enlightenment here that's not being taken or not being seen. Okay, so you're not seeing that there's a disaster ahead. It could be, if this is a person you're dealing with, this person is a disaster for you, okay? They probably have you running around in fucking circles, feeling all stressed out because of their situation. I don't know if this is somebody you're dealing with or an ex. This could be you in reminiscing, rem, um, reminiscing about a situation you were in. This person may have had you running around in circles. They may have been very closed-minded and it stressed you out. So it don't necessarily have to be going on right now. But where your head is at is the journey. Yeah, this is a, whatever this journey was. Hold on, let me get the card. Oh, oh, a baby. Okay. A child. So something about a child. Some of you, your equilibrium could be off because you're pregnant and you may not know it. Some of you, if you're dealing with somebody you shouldn't be dealing with, you should have wrapped up the cycle with them. If you mess with them, you're not listening to your guides and you're going to end up getting pregnant and you're going to be stuck with this person. This is a person who's not good for you, who's caused you strife and aggravation. That's for some of you. If it's not about a baby, it's about a new beginning. Okay, maybe you're uncomfortable with starting a new beginning with something because ba babies represent new energy. This could be a situation that's new to you. <clears throat> you could be uncomfortable with it and you need to listen to your intuition. That's one too many cards. Talk to me about these distractions. What are these distractions? Something's distracting you. Gift came out in reverse. <laughs> if this is about a baby, I don't know about this baby. I don't think this is going to be a good thing. Like I said, for some of you, you're dealing with, you know, with the Scorpio South Node energy in your 12th house and the full moon. Like, that's a lot of karmic energy. The 12th house is all about endings, right? And these are um, enemies that you may not know about, okay? So, I don't know if you're distracted on a new beginning with someone. Maybe something happened in the past with this person and maybe they're trying to get back with you. But there's something toxic around you that you need to get rid of because the Scorpio energy can represent something toxic that needs to come to an end because it's in the 12th house as, far as, as well as the moon and the south node. Some past life energy that you had to deal with in this life. You had to wrap up a cycle. I feel like for some of you, you need to be careful because if it's this person, you're going to end up having a kid with them if you sleep with them. And this is going to be, you know, you're going to have to pay. It's not going to be a good thing. You know, everybody thinks, oh, babies, babies are beautiful. They are. But... There's a lot of people who have babies with people they're not supposed to have babies with. This is a situation here. That's for a few of you. You know, so if you sleep with this woman and you know you're supposed to cut her off or you already got kids by her and you still messing with her, y'all gonna end up having another kid and it's gonna just be still hell continued. Or if the kids are a certain age and you mess with her, then you're gonna have another kid and you're gonna start this hell all over again. For others of you, it's about a new beginning. These distractions that are around you are going to make you miss out on your blessings. You better be careful. Tell me about this melancholy energy. Yeah, we got the three of pentacles in reverse. So this could be a work situation here. Okay, there could be imbalance at work. Hanging out with people at work you shouldn't be hanging out with. They distracting you. Yeah, they distracting you. Tell me about this despair energy. Or you around somebody who don't have the same work ethic as you. Okay, that could be the case. Gossip. People purposely trying to bring you down. These could be three friends you're hanging out with. Yeah, here's the, the two of cups. This could be a lover that you're dealing with, somebody who closed-minded. Maybe somebody who lives in another location. Maybe you should not travel to see this person. Maybe you should not let this person come see you because they're miserable. Whoever this is, this person is miserable. And they're going to bring their negative energy to you if they haven't already. If they're already visiting you and you already feel, you already know what I'm talking about. Tell me about this enlightenment energy in reverse. Tell me about this enlightenment. For some of you, it could be who your children are hanging out with. Or you could be closed-minded to, you know, their lifestyle choices. But it could be closed-minded to yours. Or you could have some people who 
may have something to say about somebody's lifestyle choice. We got another knight, knight of pentacles here. This is what your guys want you to know, the enlightenment's in reverse, as well as the um, mis, you know, the misfortune in the, in the knight of pentacles here. This could definitely be a work situation. Yeah, because the opposite of your 12th house is your 6th house. Your 6th house has to do with work. You know, your day-to-day your -day activities, your routines. So be careful the people you hang out with at work. Um, you got some negative people around you at work. And if you get caught up with them, they could get you into trouble. Um, I would be careful because they they blocking your blessings. They're going to block your blessings if you keep dealing with them. You may have a new opportunity here. Or you might be, you know, they, you might be being looked at for a potential opportunity here, but it's the company you keep at work that could be hindering that. Yeah, here's the Queen of Swords. You're going to need to cut that shit off, okay? With the maze, you could be confused, okay? And with the baby and the Queen of Swords, for some of you, this is about not having a child, maybe having an abortion. Deciding not to have this person's child. For others of you, this could be about wearing protection. But this is your energy, Libra. This is you. So for some of you, this is about a child. For others of you, this is about a career opportunity. For others of you, this is about a lover um, who, uh, you know, you could be reminiscing about that you were dealing with, who was no good for you. Maybe somebody you were dealing with at the job or someone you met uh, to and from work. This could also be a group or organization that you're in. Um, there could be an opportunity coming up for you where you would be able to work with uh, certain people. Maybe people are introducing themselves to you, wanting to work with you. And um, you're not seeing that you shouldn't be working with these people. Whoever this is, they, it don't look like it's going to be good because they're going to block your blessings with the distraction energy and the gift energy in reverse. Or something is around you that's going to try to distract you from your blessings. Pay very close attention to your dreams. Yeah, we have the, here's the, the king of pentacles in reverse. This could be a child's father. See, I get a deadbeat dad here. Or somebody you have a baby by. For some of you, somebody you got a baby by. <clears throat> excuse me. Or you might have gotten pregnant by this person. I feel like if you have this person's baby, it's going to distract you from your career aspirations or possible future opportunities. It's going to wipe those out. Because this is somebody you're not supposed to have a kid by. But it, it, it's probably somebody you have a very strong sexual attraction to. That's that scorpionic energy. Some of you may end up getting pregnant by someone who does not want a commitment. This King of Pentacle energy in reverse and his gift in reverse. This is somebody who's going to try to distract you from your blessings or take your blessings from you. We got a lot of Pentacle energy here and it's in reverse. The King of Pentacles is in reverse and the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. This could be somebody who's purposely fucking with your mind. You know, playing lover boy with you or lover girl with you. Right? To distract you to close out your opportunities because the globe is in reverse. This could be somebody who may not want you to move or relocate or, or travel. Yeah, with enlightenment in reverse here, you're not listening. This is a disaster here. This person is trying to stop you from, you know, growing. They're trying to stop you from, they're trying to hinder you. Stop your money, hinder your, hinder your growth because they're not doing well. Be careful, Libra, who you let back in and who you hang around and who you work with, who you choose to work with. Yeah, because somebody may, I do, I get a sense of somebody wanting revenge as well. Because they mad because you with somebody else. So for some of you, <clears throat> this could be somebody jealous and envious because you decided to work with someone else instead of them. Or this is someone who's mad and jealous. Maybe it's a child's father who's mad because you moved on to be with someone else. When they wasn't offering you nothing anyway. They was just trying to aggravate you and... You cut them off. I feel like you cut it off. You have the opportunity to cut off the new beginnings instead of going around in a maze with this person over and over again. Somebody playing mind games. Somebody trying to do you dirty. Be careful. Somebody's trying to take from you. Watch yourself, Libra. All right? So you may need to bring an end to these types of relationships. Again, these are funny-ass business partners, people at work. Somebody acting like they want to work with you, but in reality, they're trying to take from you. And it could be three of them. It could definitely be three of them. We got a knight. We got two knight. Our energies here, the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles in reverse. 
The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse and the King of Pentacles, both in reverse. This is a hustler. This is somebody who, you know, might be trying to drain you sexually or trying to take your money or keep you from making money. Yeah, you're going to have to cut that off. And if you're pregnant by this person, I mean, you got to do what you feel is best, but this is not a pregnancy the universe is going to bless. This person, if you have this baby by this person, they, your blessings are going to be blocked. Because this person ain't going to do nothing but serve as a distraction to you. Some of you, somebody could be just trying to get you pregnant to keep you from doing your thing. You might be in the process of doing your thing, might have some career opportunities, some potential going on. This person may know about it. So they may come in. You know how a lot of men do. They'll come into your world, come back into your world and, um, you know, try to get you pregnant and then leave, like stick and move, like stick you with a baby and then don't want to commit to you. Don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Be in a relationship with you thinking they're going to slow you down. But this is what this person going to do if you go back to them. So be careful if you're dealing with people who got Scorpio in the fifth house, Scorpio in the eighth house. Um, and Scorpio uh, in the first house, <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't mean all of them are going to distract you, but it means that, you know, you just need to think long and hard about the opportunities and the things that are going on in your life and what you really want, because this could serve as a distraction. If you're just dealing with someone because of money, that's another thing. Don't deal with this person if you're dealing with them because of money, because negative is going to come out of it. The pentacles is in reverse. And the struggle is the only pentacle upright, the knight of pentacles, that struggle. And it's, and it's with disaster. All right, be careful. Hopefully there won't be a fire in the home. Somebody better be careful with letting somebody in the home, somebody clumsy with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Starting a fire. Or someone who's very angry. They're very uh, violent. Okay, they could be jealous and envious. So they, they could be trying to get somebody to beat you up. Or maybe there was a physical altercation already. Like I said, I sent somebody trying to get revenge, so be careful. Watch yourself. Watch your back. There could be somebody who mad because you decided not to have their baby, so they could be on some bullshit, too. This Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I mean, this King of Pentacles in reverse is no joke. You don't belong with him anyway. You upright, he reverse. So he either trying to steal money from you, trying to pimp you out, trying to use you for money. Sex is involved in the situation. He's disrespectful. Somebody may try to um, be, be careful if you have a business. This person may try to burn your business down. Be careful letting this person in your house. They could be clumsy and knock something over and start a fire. I don't feel like it's, it's um, I feel like it's intentional. Somebody's intentionally trying to shit on you and do you dirty. Watch who you fucking with. And if it's not you, Doing this to somebody, it could be the people you hang around with, or it could be like your man and his friend. It could be his friends. Maybe they don't like you, or it could be an ex of yours who's mad because you moved on. Man or woman, it don't matter. Somebody feeling some sort of way. Watch your back, all right? Don't go back to the past. You know, especially if you haven't vetted this person out and you know that they got ill intent. All right, that's what I got for you, Libra. I wish you the best. Take care of yourself. See you in the next reading.